low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. go. Queen B's lawyer has filed a countersuit against BHB. And the good Nanya has the details. Let's take a look. Who is ready for the when you fuck around, you find out tiff? Because I'm here for it. So today, I noticed that there was a live stream canceled this morning. And then I noticed that nobody was talking about it. But um, I know that Burnt Toast did her live on Monday. And she was going over the... Um, the request for the um, bill of particulars, right? And I was like, okay, so we already knew, but he had 28 days for that, you know, whatever. All right, fine. And then this morning I seen the most beautiful thing show up on the docket and I was like, fuck to the yes. So the lawyer, the attorney dropped a countersuit on Betty's ass this morning. And I'm gonna go over it because it's absolutely fucking amazing. And I am so here for it. Again, it's strongly a whole you fucked around and now you're going to find out kind of situation. So I wanted to read it, go over it with you guys. It's not redacted, so I can't show it um, because I want to be respectful of people's privacy, despite if it may be out there, I want to respect it. Um, but, um, and I'm sure other people go over it as well. Um, but I just, I didn't, I didn't even take the time to redact it. So I don't want to show it, but I am going to read it word for word um, and give my commentary on it because I mean, the amazingness of it all, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So now my understanding and I, Correct me if I'm wrong if you're in, you know, if anybody's in the chat that knows better than me. But um, I do know that at this point, even if Betty wanted to drop the suit, because now she's being countersued, she cannot drop it. That is the beautiful. This isn't going away at this point. Fucking amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Number one thing I noticed, though, is um, Heels has not been removed from the lawsuit. So I'm not sure where that came from or who said that. But her name is still on it. So there's that. So I just want to be factual and put that out there. Okay, so um, parties, jurisdiction, and venue. I don't need to go over that. You all know who it is. You all know where they're at. So I don't feel like I need to really go over that part of it. Um, the facts common to all counts. BHB holds herself out as a victim's right advocate, a victim's right activist, and a social media influencer. BHB uses the name Bullhorn Betty to undertake these activities. Upon information and belief, Bullhorn Betty operates the YouTube channel at Bullhorn Betty. Upon information and belief, Bullhorn Betty operates the TikTok account at Bullhorn Betty. According to BHB, she covers cases and helps in the search of those missed, presumed dead, or both. Okay, cool, cool, cool. According to BHB, she travels the country to help find answers for the families and her audience. BHB's YouTube channel shows videos of her in various locations. BHB claims to work hard and put her life on the line to find the answer, bring the truth, and seek justice like no other channel you will find. BHB seeks financial support for her channel. BHB maintains a Venmo account, Bullhorn Betty, to receive financial support. BHB maintains a Cash App account, and then it shows the Cash App account, to receive financial support. BHB maintains a PayPal account, Bullhorn Betty, to receive financial support. BHB claims to have covered the case of the case in air quotes, the case of Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. BHB claims to have covered the case of Kylan Schultz and Crystal Turner. BHB claims to have covered the case of Kathleen Moore and Colin Knapp. And then it just goes on a list. We're going to skip over some of these because it's all the claims she's made for these different cases that she's covered. Upon information and belief, BHB covers these cases and other tragedies to reap a financial reward, to reap financial rewards through financial donations and monetization of her YouTube and TikTok accounts. In her complaint, BHB complains of less earnings for monetization due to Queen B's criticism of her. Okay, sure, Jan. This confirms BHB's revenue generation from coverage of disappearances, crimes, and tragedies. BHB has a merchandise store she promotes on her YouTube channel. BHB has an Amazon wish list she promotes on her YouTube channel. BHB undertakes controversial actions to, upon information and belief, raise her own profile and therefore increase revenue. According to YouTube, BHB has posted over 1,000 videos. Okay. BHB claims to be a world famous YouTuber. Lord. Indeed, BHB has drawn considerable media attention for her behavior. Most traditional media coverage explains that BHB and her colleagues are generally, generally heckling families of crime victims or criminal suspects, as well as disturbing the peace where these individuals can be found. Ooh, that can't be good. Um, it includes some links to some different um, news stations that have reported um, on the hecklers and statements from the police chief are in there as well. BHB's response to the police department stated intention to apply the law was, since you all don't know what the law is, we will see you in court. This is my intent to sue. BHB has, as her moniker suggests, appeared at the locations of tragedies of those, those associated with tragedies with a bullhorn. Some of BHB's coverages consist of traveling the country and yelling at parents of alleged murderers or at defendants in criminal cases. BHB has given interviews to press outlets such as The Insider, Red State Media, and made statements to Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair has described BHB as perpetuating harassment of innocent people. And then it gives the link to the Vanity Fair article. Ooh, boy, that didn't bode well. According to Insider, BHB told a reporter that she sued the parents of Brian Laundry, whom she referred to as Dirty Laundries, as a strategy to push the Laundries to speak out about their son's connection to Petito's death. And then it actually gives the link for the um, article where it was talking about the 
the, the lawsuit for that. During that same interview, she also claimed that she was not invested in the lawsuit. It's something that is going to keep this relevant. It's something that's going to drive the Landry's a little nuts. BHB told the Daily Sun, until the Laundries apologize to Gabby's family, it's not over, and claims she would only leave the area when God tells her enough is enough. This is what I do is the name of the article for that statement. This foreshadows BHB's re reliance on the judicial system to silence her critics. Oh, shucky ducky now. Here it comes. BHB's awareness of the law. BHB stated she did go to paralegal school. I learned the law. I went and submerged myself in this. I graduated in the top 2% of my class. I was on honor roll and dean's list every semester. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about whether I understand the concepts of law. I do. In another video where she also claimed a Hawkins County Humane Society had defamed her because she had not harassed it, she claimed to be well ed educated in the law. Okay, okay. Griffin also enjoys access to, potentially, the most prolific litigator in the country. Did she say that? No, she didn't. Okay. Griffin's allegations appear to move to mirror those, sorry, uh, mirror those of a colleague of hers, JLR, who recently sued three individuals in Ohio for defamation for referring to him as a stalker, doxer, scammer, and not searching for missing people. Similar to BHB's suit, he claimed lost business earnings, injury to reputation, and mental anguish and humiliation. Hmm, imagine that. JLR participates in the same behavior as BHB, holding himself out as an investigative reporter, according to his YouTube channel, and then it gives his handle, and traveling the country to provide his brand of claimed journalism. Upon information and belief, JLR and BHB either work together or collaborate, including traveling and each covering case, a case involving Summer Wells. Those efforts included showing up unannounced at a neighbor's house, Summer Wells, showing their house on YouTube, their mailbox, their vehicles, their license plates, and leaving notes on vehicles. JLR is well known for his litigiousness, frivolous, and for the purposes of harassment litigiousness, frivolous, and for, okay. According to the United States Department of Justice, he had filed or sought to intervene in over 3,000 lawsuits, and that was 13 years ago, and they included the case um, for that. In one case filed in the United States District Court of the Central District of Illinois, JLR alleged that he was secretly transpo transported to a yoga refuge camp in Springfield for purposes of preparation for an audition on American Idol, where he had a sexual, <laughs> what? Relationship with American Idol host Simon Cowell, as well as pop star Ricky Martin. Girl, you can't make this ish up. Betty, this isn't going to be a good look for you. Not the association. No, it's the association for me. Oh, no. Riches has been barred from filing in many courts who found his conduct not only frivolous, but also fraudulent and harassing. And then it gives a link for that. Given their closeness, BHB's own legal knowledge is believed to be bolstered by JLR's knowledge of the judicial system. All right, moving right along. This category, Griffin's attacks doxing B, uh, Queen B, excuse me, BHB's attacks doxing Queen B. For many online commentators, anonymity is important, allowing the free flow of information and ideas with less concerns about being targeted for harassment. Agreed. It appears that BHB has shared her identity while using her bull bullhorn Betty pseudonym. Put another way, BHB has not been concerned about her identity and persona being intertwined. Dissimilarly, Queen B is. Queen B uses the online pseudonym Queen B. Queen avoided sharing her identity or image on the internet when commenting on events she discussed on her YouTube channel. What Little Queen shared was to provide a bit about her personality, not to identify herself. Salads she made from fresh ingredients from a neighbor that she was busy with children's activities and the oft undertaken tradition of moral hunting. Them damn mushrooms get you every time. Queen avoided sharing personally, personally identifying information due to the possibility of harassment, not only of her, but also her family. Queen has criticized BHB in the past. In response, BHB went on the offensive. In late March 2023, BHB produced and disseminated several videos to at least part, in part dox Queen. In March 2023, BHB Docs Queen, identifying Queen as her real name, to hunt to her thousands of subscribers and viewers. Uh-oh, Betty fucked up. Anywho, Griffin went through the trouble of comparing Queen's interview with local media concerning her neighbor's brutal stabbing death during the carjacking against her voice in YouTube videos, where Queen's face is never shown, to make her case that Queen is her real government name. Then, BHB engaged in a flame war against queen uh oh not the flames upon information and belief bhb has encouraged or assisted others to do the same in fact in late march 2023 bhb participated in a discussion with a man's name who uses the handle dolly vision and molly go lightly which was live streamed onto youtube oh no it's the association for me can any band of idiots be this idiotic oh my gosh no this is getting good guys here we go this public video Discuss Queen at length. This discussion lasted around one hour and 40 minutes. Oh, shit. They got the times. The following day, BHB streamed a video for three and one half hours. Three and a half hours about, in large part, about Queen B. BHB has posted images of Queen's children online. BHB has accused Queen of selling drugs to children in front. BHB's crude behavior and so-called doxing campaign has not silenced all her critics. 
It seems Griffin has elected to leverage the judicial system for improper purposes, not for remedies intended to be provided by the judicial system. Oh, shit. Not you used it. Oh, God, I think that's I think that's spelled frivolous as fuck. That's what it's spelled like. Okay. BHB attempts to silence criticism through legal procedures. As explained above, BHB admitted to a reporter that she sh she sued the parent of an accused murderer in the middle of a firestorm of media coverage for the purpose of driving him and his wife a little nuts. Mmm. Hooey. Tell me that the internet is forever without telling me the internet is forever. Okay. The foregoing demonstrates BHB's willingness to leverage the judicial system for improper means. Upon information and belief in the past, BHB has sought relief from another person who criticized her. Upon information and belief, BHB sought and received a temporary restraining order against a person for alleged harassment. BHB reportedly spoke about her dispute against this person to Red Voice Media, claiming cyberbullying, harassment, and cyberstalking. And then it includes the, um, the article link. Upon information and belief, after BHB instituted more than one legal proceeding against the person, the dispute was settled. BHB's improper litigation campaign brought to this court. Okay, here we go. This is the next category. Enjoy. Okay. BHB filed her lawsuit against Turner on June 13, 2023. She also sued the blank dismissed co-defendant in this case to be dismissed co-defendant in this case. The to be dismissed co-defendant is upon information and belief and as alleged in the complaint, a resident of another state with no apparent connections to this state or county. The to be dismissed co-defendant also criticized Griffin using the pseudonym heels in the air on YouTube. Upon information and belief, Griffin sued the to be dis dismissed co-defendant simply to put the to be dismissed co-defendant's name and address information into the public domain. Oh no, you've been found out. Okay. That wasn't in there, just so you know. That was my commentary there. Okay. All right. BHB caused the Knox County Sheriff to serve process on Queen. A video of the Sheriff's Department deputy that served Queen was placed online. Shut the front door. I didn't know that. Oh, God, that's terrible. Anywho, oh, there's no links to these people. Anywho, upon information and belief, this video was either uploaded by BHB or caused to be uploaded by BHB. It appears to have been removed from YouTube despite BHB being served with an evidence preservation demand. She was demanded to keep the evidence and she deleted it? <gasps> oh, no. Despite BHB's knowledge of the law, experience in the legal system, and contacts with the most prolific filer of lawsuits, perhaps ever, Supra, BHB, filed a complaint devoid of merit. No. Not they found you out, BHB. What happened? Damn, Gina. Anywho. Move right along. BHB demanded a bill of particulars due to the improper pleading techniques used as well as the lack of clarity as to what is alleged. Therefore, Queen used civil processes, the service of the complaint and summons by the Knox County Sheriff Department on Queen. Excuse me, BHB used civil processes on Queen. Okay. Count one, abuse of process. Queen realleges each, realleges, re I believe, each of the foregoing paragraphs as it is fully, as it fully set forth here. Sorry. BHB had an ulterior purpose in the regular use of regular court process. She sure in the fuck did. BHB used regular ju judicial process for an improper use. I believe she did, in my opinion. BHB's purposes are those that could not be accomplished through the suit. Mm. Say it again for the people in the back. Upon information and belief, BHB's purpose, among others, was to continue doxing Queen. Damn. Upon information and belief, BHB's purpose, among others, was to harass Queen. Upon information and belief, BHB's purpose, among others, was to silence Queen for non-defamatory commentary on BHB. Tell me your feelings are hurt without telling me your feelings are hurt. Okay. Anyways, for this reason, Queen requests this court to A, enter judgment in her favor and against BHB as to this count, B, award Queen damages provided at trial to have and recover from BHB, and C, provide any other relief the court deems appropriate. Okay. Damn. Again fuck around and find out. You know what I mean? Count two, defamation per se. This is the second count. Plaintiff realleges each of the foregoing paragraphs as it as it fully set forth here. After extensive, extensive efforts to dox Queen B and identify her publicly as her government name, BHB then began making false statements about Turner. No, you didn't. No, BHB wouldn't do that. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, she would. In late March, 2023, BHB stated about Turner, she sold drugs to kids. <gasps> no. Okay. In late March, 2023, BHB stated about Queen, you are a disgusting woman and you sold drugs to kids. Damn, the internet's forever. These are statements of fact, not opinion. Queen did not sell drugs to kids. This video has been viewed by over 11,000 third parties. These false statements made to third parties imputes the commission of a crime. <gasps> not a criminal. Upon information and belief, Griffin knew the statement was false. No way. She knew and still said it? No, nah, she didn't double down. Let's go see what they say. When asked by Molly Go Lightly, what kind of drugs? BHB stated, I don't know if it was meth, coke, crack. I don't know. I have no idea. These two statements are defamatory per se. Oh, shit. 
here we go. This is a good part. The following day, BHB published a statement referring to Queen. Say no to drugs, kiddos. Oh, wait, she queen is giving them to children. Griffin made this statement during a live stream, repeating the statement after being paid a $5 donation made by an anonymous third party. This video has been published to over 11,000 third parties, according to YouTube. This false statement made to third parties <clears throat> imputes the commission of a crime. This statement is defamatory per se. BHB has suggested that she made these three defamatory st statements in revenge for Queen's criticism of her. Not you admitted it and they got you on camera? Oh my gosh. Tell me it isn't so. Well, I'll be gosh darned. Moving right along. In late March 2023, Griffin suggested that if Queen would have taken the advice of not speaking critically about BHB, then BHB would not be making these statements. Upon information and belief, Griffin knew the statements were false or acted recklessly concerning, concerning the veracity of what she was saying. BHB acted with malice. <gasps> not the malicious intent for me. For these reasons, Queen B requests this court to A, enter a judgment in her favor and against BHB as to this court. As to this count, excuse me. Award Queen damages proved at trial to have and recover from BHB and provide any other relief the court deems appropriate. Count number three just keeps on going. She's like the gift that keeps on giving. Is there such thing as Christmas in July? I feel like today is Christmas in July for us. This is, this is a beautiful gift that's been dropped upon us. That's how I felt this morning when I seen it hit the docket. So I'm here for it. Defamation per quote in the alternative to count two. Plaintiff realleges each of the foregoing paragraphs is as if fully set forth here. In the event the court determines the statements referenced in count two are not defamatory per se, they remain defamatory per, per quote. I think that's how you say it, quote, Q-U-O-D, quote, I think. Anyways, um, I'm not good at, at courtship, but this is this was way too good to pass up. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, so that basically to me, what that's saying is just in case the court doesn't deem it defamatory per se, in, in the last count we made, we're going to go ahead and add this one on. This is like the icing on the cake. We're going to make sure this cake, you're, you're going to eat this damn cake. Eat the cake. You know what I mean? That's what's going to happen. Okay. For these reasons, Queen requests this court to enter judgment in her favor and against BHB as to this count. Award Queen damages proved at trial to have and recover from BHB and provide any other relief the court deems appropriate. Queen demands a trial by jury on all counts so triable. Respectfully, Queen B by Mr. Lawyer. Damn, Gina. Not literally Gina, but I'm saying, Betty, what did you do? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I would like to thank the good Nanya for reviewing the counter suit and allowing me to use it on my channel. In my opinion, BHB has really screwed the pooch on this one. I really liked Queen Bee's lawyer's response. Let me know your thoughts below. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell. I will see you next time.